Hi everyone, my name is Tandy and I'm a fourth year student in the Natural Science program at the University of Calgary. So I chose the U of C, number one, because I live in Calgary and I thought it would be good to save some money and just live at home. But for the Natural Sciences program, you can choose two concentrations and a majority of the classes you take are focused on that. And I really like having two concentrations because I just feel like it gives you more of an edge compared to just a biology or just a chemistry degree. And aside from some hard classes here and there, I've really enjoyed my program for the most part. And academics aside, I've gained a ton of valuable skills in things such as research, leadership, time management, organization, presentations, etc. So in terms of the workload and the difficulty of the degree, it is by no means easy. Personally, there was a pretty big learning curve transitioning from high school to university because in university, it's a lot more self-directed. The profs won't tell you to finish your assignments or do your essays. You just have to do it all yourself. It's a lot more fast paced and you're taking four to five pretty content heavy classes each semester with labs, assignments, tutorials, exams all at once. So for bio and chem, most classes have weekly three to four hour labs and some have one hour tutorials. You definitely need to put in a ton of effort because you'll have weekly lab reports, quizzes, essays, or assignments. And obviously it's much more work than high school, but it's totally normal to struggle. And after a few semesters, you adapt to university routine pretty easily. My advice to really help reduce that initial learning curve would be just to be super organized and proactive. It's really easy to fall behind and get overwhelmed with classes and responsibilities. So make a schedule for yourself, attend every single class, lab, and tutorial. This is so important. Do all the assigned readings, talk to your prof, and just stay on top of things. In terms of content covered in this degree, it's really just up to you and what you like. As I mentioned earlier, I love learning about animals and nature. So for example, I took a course about mushrooms and fungus. I took a course about invertebrate zoology where we got to dissect a bunch of cool things. And then I took an immunology course where we got to learn about how diseases develop. And of course, there were some really difficult and straight up terrible courses like analytical chemistry and organic chemistry, but it's honestly all just part of the learning experience. For the University of Calgary Science program, the application process is really easy. You just need to submit your high school grades and there are no supplemental essays or exams required. The grade requirements for the natural science program varies by concentration. So for bio and comp sci, you need a minimum of high 80s in high school, whereas the other concentrations like chem, geoscience, physics, and math need low 80s. You can also be admitted without a concentration and then apply for it later in your degree. So in high school, in addition to the basic required courses of math and social and English, I took bio and chem and calculus in grade 12. Depending on what concentration you apply for, again, having a foundation in high school is super helpful. For example, I thought university calculus was a walk in the park because I learned a majority of the content from high school. Since natural science requires two concentrations, it's important to space out your degree to avoid feeling overwhelmed, which is something I regret not doing in my first and second year. The university has a lot of on online resources on how specifically to do this. So if you're applying to UFC, I really recommend exploring the websites and organizing your classes in advance to registration. For natural science, aside from the courses within your concentration like bio and chem, you need to take two science courses that don't relate to your field of study. So for example, I chose astronomy and that was pretty cool. You also need two math courses, a computer science class, and there's a mandatory statistics class and a scientific writing class you take in your upper years. One of my favorite classes of my degree was the required capstone project class where we got to choose a research topic relating to our two concentrations and then we got to conduct a bunch of experiments and create a scientific poster and do a presentation all relating to the concentrations. Now, in terms of job prospects and opportunities you can get with a natural science degree, it's really just up to you and what you're interested in. I never really had a passion for research, so I wasn't involved in any labs outside of classes. So getting a master's in something like bio or chem is something that I definitely don't want to do. But I know a lot of people in life sciences who have applied for med school and law school and research-based master's degrees. The Faculty of Science at UFC also has an internship program, but from what I've heard from some friends, 
I don't think it's that great because they kind of expect you to find everything by yourself. And from what I know, the faculty doesn't really host a lot of recruitment or networking events for assigned students. And I think those things are just more prevalent in business and engineering. So I decided to just apply for summer internships on my own outside of school. And I was able to find an invertebrate zoology position in the US. So there are definitely tons of opportunities to get involved and gain experience outside of class. I also had a super memorable experience outside academics. I didn't live on campus, so I didn't really get the full university experience, but I was still involved in a ton of clubs like cultural clubs, fitness clubs, volunteering, mentor mentorship, and technology. And I think there are over 300 student run clubs that you can join. There's always something going on on campus. You can find free food literally like anywhere. And there are tons of opportunities to make friends. Honestly, I think the university is pretty diverse. Especially in the Faculty of Science, there are people from all over the world and you're guaranteed to meet someone who shares a similar background, who speaks the same language, or has similar interests as you. Given the number of organizations specifically catered to minority groups and given the diversity of students, I think people from any background would really feel welcome at the university. So the UFC also has a lot of resources and support for anything you need. The biggest thing I would say for science students is the science advising program. And I can't even begin to tell you the number of times in these past four years that I've talked to the science advisors regarding program requirements, registration, etc. It's seriously such a lifesaver and it's really reassuring to have that support, especially if you're first year. The university also has career services to help you with jobs, they have mental health support, they have medical help, and they also have centers for LGBTQ plus community and for those who practice any religion. And finally, probably my biggest piece of advice to grade 12 students or those who are applying to university is from what I've learned, your program doesn't define you. Just because you graduate with a biology degree, it doesn't mean you're destined to be a biologist for the rest of your life. When I was applying to university, I initially wanted to become a teacher and then a doctor and then a lawyer. And after learning graphic design and marketing in some of my extracurricular activities, I wanted to work in that field. And even now, a few weeks away from graduating, I'm still not certain on what I want to do. But my university experience in general has been super monumental in helping me discover what I don't want to do. So if you're super passionate about your degree, then that's great. But if along the way you start to question yourself, there are so many opportunities to get involved in things. And I like to think that university is really just a learning experience that helps you figure out what you're truly interested in. So given everything I just said, to whoever is watching this video, good luck with your studies. And I really hope your university experience was just enjoyable and exciting as mine.